Last year, our next speaker made history when she became the first chairwoman in HOA history. Her vision and dedication to empowering not just women hoteliers, but all hoteliers strengthened our association. Please welcome your 2019-2020 AHOA Chairwoman, Jagruti Panmala. Thank you, Biren. The past year has been an incredible one for AHOA and one that we will not soon forget. AHOA's capacity for continued growth, success, and service shine as we entered our fourth decade as an association. We also showed our adaptability, resourcefulness, and resilience in the face of adversity. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, our very livelihood is being put to the test. I am so proud of you, our AHA members, for your resilience and your willingness to help others during these challenging times. Your compassion over the past few months illustrates the best in our industry. It shows the world what hospitality is all about. So many of you are going above and beyond in the face of the challenges this pandemic possess. We have shown that as a community, we are stronger together. And it is that strength that has defined us over 30 year history. It served our first generation hoteliers as you work to build your businesses while struggling against prejudice and racial injustice. It serves second generation hoteliers as we work to rebuild our industry after September 11th and the 2008 financial crisis. And it will serve all hoteliers as we work to come out on the other side of this pandemic. We have a unique grit and determination that presents us with no choice but to succeed. 2020 will forever be remembered for COVID-19 and its impact on our country and our industry. Yet, AHOA's achievements and growth before we shifted our attention and our resources to addressing the impact of the pandemic are a testament to our strength, and they must not be overlooked. Over the past year, we continue to make our mark on the hospitality industry. We saw our membership reach nearly 20,000, the highest in our history. In fact, we saw so much new growth that we created a new region out west, the greater Los Angeles area. Member engagement with AHOA Education nearly topped 17,000, more than doubling in the past two years. Attendance at our town halls, regionals, educational workshops, and other events saw an astounding 92% increase year over year. We trained over 6,000 people in our industry-leading human trafficking awareness trainings. In fact, just last month, ASAE, the American Society of Association Executives, recognized AHOA's anti-trafficking efforts by announcing AHOA as the recipient of the 2020 Power of A Summit Award. This is ASAE's highest honor for association that go above and beyond their everyday mission to undertake initiatives that benefit America and the world. In February, we launched a new AHOA certificate in hotel ownership in an entirely digital platform that allows you to customize your learning experience and go at your own pace. In the five months immediately following the launch, we saw more people earn their CHO than in the last two years combined. And those numbers continue to rise. AHOA continued working with our brand partners to help improve the cost propositions for owners. This is an ongoing and evolving process, and I look forward to the progress our association will continue to make. As we saw at our convention in San Diego, our past plays an important role in our future. That's why, for the first time in association history, we held a board retreat with our past chairs. Their institutional knowledge of our association, our history, and our industry is an invaluable resource that our board of directors can tap as we chart our path forward. Our board of directors also completed a thorough review of our governance procedures, which will empower future leaders 
to focus on what is really important to moving the association forward. Ahoa PAC reached new heights, recording the most $5,000 donors in association history. Last year, we partnered with Emerald Expositions to reimagine one of the largest and oldest hospitality trade show in the nation. The result, HX, the hotel experience powered by Ahoa. The event drew thousands of attendees to the Javits Center in New York City last November. I will never forget walking through the Javits Center and seeing Ahoa's name on banners, signs announcing our partnership with HX. Putting on one of the most prominent hospital industry events made me so proud of our association and how far we have all come together. One of our biggest accomplishments over the past year is the launch of myahoa.com. It is a game changer for you, our members, and for our association. myahoa.com is a one-stop shop to manage your membership and take advantage of all that Ahoa has to offer. And it allows us to harness the power and resources of all of you, our members, to tell the story of Ahoa in ways like never before. The better we understand our members, the better we can represent your interests to industry partners, to vendors, and perhaps most importantly, to lawmakers. When I first became involved in Ahoa over a decade ago, I saw just how important political advocacy is to our industry. Advocacy became a passion of mine. As entrepreneurs living the American dream, we have an incredible story to tell. We can use our story to share our valuable insights into the laws and regulations that govern our industry. When we engage in advocacy, we put our faces to our names, to our businesses, and to our issues, and to our contributions in our communities. When our elected officials know who we are, our hotels cease to be just part of the landscape. They recognize our businesses as a hubs for jobs, opportunities, and prosperity. And like business, successful advocacy is built on relationships. Our advocacy efforts are only as effective as the strength of our relationship with our lawmakers. Over the past year, we achieved great things in Washington, D.C. We work with our coalition partners to help win the reauthorization of Brand USA. We also mobilize hoteliers to inform the new rules on joint employer, which will fundamentally strengthen the successful franchise business model. And Ahoa officers stood with the president at the White House as he announced the important regular initiatives that help small businesses. But we must keep building this relationship and continue to increase our footprint in the political sphere, especially given the crisis challenges of our livelihood. When COVID-19 crippled our country, our economy, and our industry, Ahoa got to work for you, our members. This past months presented us with extraordinary challenges and Ahoa rose to the occasion. To date, we have held over 150 webinars to help hoteliers specifically address COVID-19. We fought for and won flexibility for hoteliers to use PPP loans to cover more expenses. Our advocacy team continues to press Congress and the administration to give hoteliers targeted economic stimulus and real relief on CMBS loans. We are working with our state and local partners on property tax relief and other initiatives to help hoteliers get through this liquidity crisis. AHOA is also leading the charge for significant changes which will strengthen the ownership propositions for our thousands of members. This could potentially change our landscape for the better and help us move forward on the road to recovery. Nobody does anything great alone. Each of us in this business has mentors or people whose careers have offered us guidance. 
there have been many who have guided us along the way. But we would like to give a special thank you to Mitch Patel of Vision Hospitality, Mehul Patel of Newcrest Image, Al Patel of Baywood, Jay Shah of Harsha Hospitality, and DJ Rama of Uro Hospitality. They have volunteered countless hours supporting our PAC fundraising efforts and advocating on behalf of our franchise's members. Thank you, gentlemen, for your leadership. There is no question that together, you are our staff, ambassadors, committees, board members, and officers are working hard every day to make a difference. Serving as your AHOA chairwoman and as AHOA's first female chair has been the honor of my life. I am proud to be a hotelier. I'm proud to be a part of this association's rich history, and I'm forever grateful to you for the opportunity to serve. This past year, AHOA recorded the most 5,000 PAC donors in our PAC's history. Your engagement is absolutely vital to the success of our efforts to help elect those who understand and prioritize issues important to small business owners like you. It is critical to the long-term success of our industry and to your business. Every single dollar that goes to support a HOA PAC is an insurance policy against bad laws. We take a moment now to recognize those men and women who have invested in AHOA and our industry by donating the maximum amount to a HOA PAC.
Thank you to you, to all our donors, and thank you to you, our members, for your unwavering support for AHOA.